we have a breakdown of the playoff, not the bracket, but the standings for the playoff races. And one of the things that's really interesting about this is that there have been some spoilers over the last week or so that have been mixing things up in the standings. Um, first off, the A's took two out of three from the Astros in Houston. Not sure. I don't know. What up? What's up with that? Um, the Yankees are fighting to get out of last place. They're, they're, uh, the Yankees and the, Red Sox are fighting over who gets last place. That's there you go. Fighting. Yeah. I was say they're fighting to get going out of last into, place with the Red Sox there. Yeah. Going into today, they had even records. It was like 76 and 72 both ways or whatever. It was uh, 73 and 72 because I saw after the games and after the morning get, uh, part of the doubleheader, the Yankees were 73 and 73. Yeah, so I did see that much today. There but, you go. Yeah, They're fighting over who gets last place. That's what it is. Yeah, and then the Cardinals swept the Orioles, the Battle of the Birds, in Baltimore. Ah, Not a good way to get shocking. ready to come to town unless they were just looking past them. I don't know. I don't know. Draft series. I- <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Because this is the thing: is the cards are not. They're not just fighting to win games. Like they haven't checked out. Like that's a good no. group of players who have not checked out. Kind of like, like opposite of the White Sox, they've checked out. But yeah. they're they want to get Adam Wainwright his two hundredth win. Yeah, they do. So those guys are Is fighting it? tooth and nail to not only get him his two hundredth win, but have momentum going into that game when he comes into pitch. So yeah. good and on the card for what they're doing in St. Louis happen. right now. And I like it. it. And then the Rangers are working on sweeping the Blue Jays. They took the first three decisively. I'm going to check the score real quick and see what's going on there. Rangers um, are up four to two in the end of the sixth right now. Yep, there we go. So they're they're, going they're to the trying to sweep sweep the Blue Jays, and that could be a huge favor done for everybody in the wild card race. But, mm-hmm. So this is how things look. Coming into Thursday, there's like 15 or 16 games left, depending on your team and how many they played. Uh, a few teams are in a few different places. But anyway, so the Orioles are up on the Rays. This is in the AL East. The Orioles are up on the Rays by two games. In the Central, the AL Central, the Twins are up on Cleveland by seven and a half games. That's pretty well wrapped up. The I Astros are up that. on the Rangers by one game and the Mariners by a game and a half. Oh. The wild, wild AL West. Oh, oh man! And then in the East, sorry, in the National League and the NL East, the Braves have clinched. They clinched last night. That's six yep. division titles in a row. Good on you, Atlanta. The Brewers are up on the Cubs by four games in the Central. The Dodgers have a magic number of four to clinch the NL West. Right. So remember the magic number. That's any combination of Dodger wins and Arizona slash San Francisco San Francisco losses. Yeah. So that's that's how they and actually the D backs lost today. So that magic number is down. Oh, to three. They got oh my today. Let's look wow. at the wild card. The American League, uh, the race sit at the top, they have an eight and a half game lead. They're not worried about that. They're focused on the division. The yeah. Rangers are plus half a game. The Mariners are the third team. They're obviously even setting the bar there. And then the Blue Jays are a game back of the Mariners. If that result holds, they will be a game and a half back of the Mariners because they're idle today. The wow. National League, the Phillies are at the top by three and a half games. The Cubs are plus two of the Diamondbacks and Reds, who are setting the standard. And the, as the third, actually, the D-backs are now a half a game back of the Reds. And then the Marlins and the Giants are also half a game back of the Reds. So that is toit, like a toiger. Whoa. And it's tight like unto a dish is what like is. unto a dish indeed yeah so let's talk magic numbers before we move on okay. because these are fun and it's a great way to see what your team's likelihood of making the playoffs is so we can teach you how to calculate this number i wrote it all down so i don't have to do math on the fly break because that's stupid. <laughs> so i love you where this works <laughs> is you take the leading team's wins mm-hmm. plus the trailing team's trailing team's losses, subtract that number from 163. And that gets your magic number. So here's an example for you for the Twins. You ready? Yep. Their magic number to clinch the division is nine. So that takes, you take their 76 wins, Cleveland's 78 losses, add those together, that's 154. 163 minus 154 equals nine. If that makes any sense to anybody. 
No, and but we can't find it. Just look it up on it. it. So, <laughs> so the teams that are officially eliminated from the playoffs, we have Oakland, Kansas City, the Chicago White Sox, and Colorado. Last week we said the Mets and the Nats were eliminated, but they were just eliminated from the division, not from playoffs. Oh yeah, all together. So there you go. So here are some magic numbers for you. Divisions, Brave. Like I said, the Braves already clinched. Yep. The Dodgers, theirs is four, like or three, I guess. Like I said, the Brewers is thirteen. The Orioles is fifteen. The Twins is seven, and the Astros is a whole sixteen because it's tight, like unto a dish. Tight. The wild card, the Rays to clinch their playoff spot is three. The Rangers and Mariners are both at twelve playoff. Whoa! Spot. With it. fifteen games left. Yeah. Woo! Actually, that number goes down one. So I think for the Rays, Rangers, and Mariners, it's good. it's two for the Rays and eleven for the Rangers and Mariners. Oh. Well, that's if the if the if the result holds. Never mind. We won't go that right. Far. Yeah, right. Okay. And then the National League wild card: the Phillies are thirteen, the Cubs are fourteen, and then the Reds are sixteen. So wow, it is getting down. It's going to go down to the wire. That's but, amazing. Uh, 